Hey there, I'm Mike, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the SSL unrecognized name alert error. The SSL unrecognized name alert error appears when your browser doesn't recognize an SSL certificate. Unlike some other SSL related errors, this message shows your website as being unavailable rather than warning users away from it. While this error persists, users won't be able to access your website. Moreover, it points toward an underlying problem with your site's SSL certificate. Fixing your site's SSL configuration is essential for security purposes. It can put your visitors' minds at ease by keeping their data safe. Plus, a working SSL certificate demonstrates that your website is real and not a phishing attempt. In this video, we will show you multiple ways to fix this error. But before we get started, I want to let you know that there'll be links to more resources in the video's description below. And remember, subscribe and ring that bell to get notifications for future helpful content. Now, let's get this error fixed. For an SSL certificate to work, it needs to come from a valid authority. Anyone can self-sign a certificate and install it on a website. However, if your certificate doesn't come with a trusted third party, you'll see the SSL unrecognized name alert error. Certificate authorities are few and far between. This process of becoming an accredited authority involves strict security and operational requirements. Organizations need to go through stringent validation procedures, including security audits and background checks. All of this security is necessary because SSL certificates are built on trust and the industry is tightly regulated. Some of the most popular certificate authorities on the market include Komodo, Digicert, GlobalSign, GoDaddy, Let's Encrypt, and Cloudflare. Kista, for example, uses Cloudflare SSL certificates. There are many tools you can use to check your SSL certificate and configuration for errors. One of our favorite examples is the Qualys SSL server test. This tool enables you to enter a domain name, see if it has an SSL certificate, and get a full report of its configuration. The report also includes information on any errors the SSL server test finds along the way. For example, if the certificate comes to the valid authority, the report will show this. You can also see who issued the certificate by navigating to the issuer portion of the report. If the issuer isn't a valid authority, you won't get an A and the report will let you know you need to install a new certificate. The report also includes information about the certificate's validity dates, whether it's been revoked, and if it's trusted by major browsers and operating systems. Any valid SSL certificate should receive a full positive report from the SSL server test. Once you've installed an SSL certificate, you must configure your website to load over HTTPS. Otherwise, you'll run into SSL errors such as the unrecognized name alert. If you use Kinsta, this process is simple. The MyKinsta dashboard enables you to force HTTPS for specific websites by entering its Tools tab. Here you'll find an option called Force HTTPS. If you click on Enable, it'll automatically start redirecting all connections through HTTPS. If you're not using Kinsta, this process is a bit more involved to solve the unrecognized name error on Nginx servers. You can configure your Nginx server to redirect HTTP to HTTPS by modifying the Nginx config file by adding the following code to it. Keep in mind, you'll need to replace the domain placeholders with your site's URL. For Apache, the process is similar, but you have to edit the .ht access file instead. Simply add this code. Finally, if you're using WordPress, you'll have access to some plugins that enable you to force your site to load over HTTPS. However, these plugins can cause issues with your server configuration. If your web host doesn't offer an option to force your site to load over HTTPS, your best bet is to change the server's configuration directly. If you're using a valid certificate with no configuration errors and your site is configured to load over HTTPS, there shouldn't be any issues. However, if you're still running into the unrecognized name error, it's time to contact your web host. Your web host should be able to determine if there's an underlying issue in your certificate and reinstall it if necessary. Depending on your host, they might automatically issue certificates from trusted authorities, which minimizes the risk of running into SSL-related errors. When you contact your web host, make sure to tell them about the previous steps you took to troubleshoot the problem. This should make it easier for them to narrow down the cause of this SSL error. An unsecured website puts your customers and reputation at risk. With Kinsta's Cloudflare integration, all the security features you need are built right into your plan at no additional cost. There's a monthly savings of around $200 per WordPress site. 
Learn about these benefits, including DDoS protection, a more secure firewall, and more at kinsta.com slash cloudflare hyphen integration. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this.